welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like your vibe or your jam, make sure you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I usually upload once or twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays, so I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay, y'all, so today's video is going to be a luxury spring accessories haul. And I always get excited around this time of year because I love color and spring is one of my favorite seasons Okay, so I have some things that I have picked up some are a little bit older But I haven't shown them on my channel or I haven't worn them and then some things are fairly new So we're gonna probably do sunglasses shoes and handbags So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the things that I've added to my spring wardrobe then stick around Y'all I'm so excited for this because I have a lot of color to show y'all Oh, I love it. So the first pair of sunglasses I have here are by Versace, as you can see. And I did wear these. I wore these on Easter. I've worn them a couple times, but on Easter, um, I posted them on my stories and you guys went crazy about them. And they are these gorgeous shades. So I love that these are a play on the um, original, like classic Versace shades, but they are rimless. As you can see, it's just all kind of like lens or... Um, you know, acetate. So these are so gorgeous. They are considered to be violet, violet. Be careful when you are searching for these. Um, if you don't want to use my link down below because they do have violet slash pink, which is an actual pink pair of sunglasses. I want it purple because I've been obsessed with purple and lavender and purple has never been one of my favorite colors, but for some reason within the last like year, I've been loving purple things. So I picked these up and they do have gold detailing. How gorgeous are these? Let me throw them on real quick to show y'all. Ah, cute, right? I love these so much, y'all. They're so cute. Um, I do feel like, let me make sure my hair is still together. But yeah, I love these so much. I do wish that they were a little bit lighter, but you do have to consider your skin tone with these as well, since they are like a clear type of sunglass, because if you are lighter skin, they will show up more brighter on you, you know, um, but you know, I'm a brown skin beauty, honey. So they definitely show up purple, like true purple, super, super, super cute. Love these so much. Love all of the detailing. And yeah, so these are fire and those shades run about 300 or so dollars, but I'm going to see if I can find them, um, with a better deal for you guys. Cause you know, I never like to pay full price. So if I can find a deal for you guys, I'm definitely going to link that below for y'all. Okay. Next up, I have another pair of shades. Now I have not worn these yet, but these are by Prada. This is the box that they come in. And I was kind of shocked at how big the, um, Prada case was because I have, other product glasses and for this size of shade I didn't think that they would be this thick I hate a big old case I mean it's nice but like I'm not gonna put these in my purse you know so well maybe because I can wear these in the winter as well and you know winter bags tend to be a little bit larger but anyway these are Prada and they are a pair of red shades y'all I love these shades so much I've been wanting these for so long but every time I would find them on sale they were the larger pair and these are the marble ones so you can see that beautiful detailing there I'm obsessed like look at these Ugh, the detail on these sunglasses and again I love the fact that the lens is not super dark I still even have the sticker on mine but these originally retailed for 500 and something dollars I'm not paying $500 for shades, like, no, okay? So I love the shape of these and I finally found them on sale. I got them for around 200 bucks, still pretty expensive, but I mean, I love them and they're a nice heavy pair of shades. Look at the Prada detailing. It's really the marble detailing for me. These also come in white, but I just love the deep red. So these are not necessarily spring shades, but um, I'm going to be wearing them in the spring. <laughs> I'm going to make myself wear them in the spring and summer. And then these are perfect for the winter too. So you guys know red was really on trend um, this past fall and winter. And that's when I originally saw these and wanted them. But again, I had to wait till they went on sale. So yeah, I finally picked these up and I'm obsessed with them. So, so cute. Just a beautiful pair of shades. And I feel like these are very classic, but they still have a little bit of edge to them as well. And the other ones are just like a really oversized pair. Um, to me, these, like I do small sunglasses a lot and these are not even that small. Like this is a normal size sunglass in my opinion, but 
these are considered to be the cat eye symbol sunglasses so love okay so next up i have a few pairs of shoes you guys know if you've been following me for a long time i'm a shoe lover i'm a shoe girl at heart and so i'm always gonna have shoes okay always so the first couple of pair i have not worn but i've had these for a minute i just haven't shown you guys so this is my first pair here this is a pair of silver versace um sandals let me just hold one up here this is what they look like really love the shape of these they have a square toe as you can see and it's a sling back and this sling back actually fits me pretty well did i size down no i got these in a 37 and a half so these are super cute as you can see silver metallic when i did get these i got these um around my birthday because i was going to wear a silver metallic dress but i didn't end up wearing that but this is the shoe that i got to go with it because i wanted to do silver and gold um and as you can see they have the gold medusa on here it has a couple of rhinestones around there and it's a nice like kind of a chunkier heel so very comfortable and i just think that these are so cute very unique and you know i decided just not to take them back so i just kept them but i haven't worn them yet i'm definitely going to pull them out for spring and summer i am going to vegas to see usher so maybe i'll pull these out for vegas i feel like this is a nice little vegas shoe but yeah let me know what you guys think about these super cute on i just love them so much um i don't remember what these are called but i'll definitely do a search for y'all um, and link them down below if they are still available. Like I said, I did get these in my actual size and they're fabulous. <laughs> Next up, I have these Jimmy Choo's. Now the color of this is just, right? Like look at these Jimmy Choo's. So these um, have been pretty popular. Now, I did get these on sale. They do retail for over a thousand dollars and I love a good Jimmy Choo because they are super comfortable, but they are you know kind of like glam in a way and when i saw this color i was like i have to have these so i did pick these up on sale like i said let me just say though um they're not made the best okay i have like some of my favorite jimmy chews are the bings and this is like i would say more of a dressed up version than the bing because it does have the ankle strap but i had already experienced this little jewel falling off i had to put it back on with my little um tweezer pliers or whatever you call them the little needle nose pliers and then also one of the jewels came out of here so maybe that was why they were on sale i don't know but overall the shoe is gorgeous it is a pointed toe pump i love the fact that it has this pointed toe um toe box as well super cute and you can see it has a nice little skinny heel so these are really cute love them i haven't worn them yet but i do have a skirt Girl, I had to fashion the Nova, okay? But I picked up a skirt in this the exact same color. So I'm thinking that skirt, like a cute white crop top, maybe my Jack Moose um, linen crop top. And these, yes, right? So cute. So I love this color. I don't have anything in my wardrobe besides that skirt, you know, in this color. So I had to get them. But yeah, I don't know if all of them are poorly made, but mine definitely had a few little... A little issue one thing i will say they're super super comfortable obviously they are a standout piece because they are metallic and just this gorgeous teal turquoise um type of color very mermaid vibes you know and so um it's worth it you know in the end because i did get them on sale but yeah if you are looking to get these shoes just keep those things in mind that i did have a few issues but they're very comfortable this is not uncomfortable at all on the ankle um and i love that because sometimes my ankles are smaller and so I have to put them pretty tight and when I walk I can feel it because they have all these jewels but these I don't have an issue with because it's lined with like a little um smooth thing of smooth metal so yeah super cute love these let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys had any issues uh with these with this style of shoe from jimmy Choo as well so speaking of jimmy Choo, i have another pair of jimmy Choo's here these are newer i have not worn these either um i've had those other jimmy Choo's for a few months and i just hadn't worn them but these y'all the obsession is real at this point like I need to be stopped <laughs> so they're still all in the dust bag and everything let me um 
pull them out for y'all. So these are my new Jimmy Choo's. You guys know I live for a bing, okay? I wear them so much, like my cream bings. I'm sure these are supposed to be like fancy shoes. I wear these all the time in the cream. You guys know I also have the clear um, like neon green as well. And then I had to get the lavender. These were on sale too and I needed a lavender shoe because I told y'all I've been really into purple lately. Look at these. The difference in these is that they have these like, um, is it called a Roar Borealis type of iridescence on the, um, on the jewels? I'm obsessed, okay? So let me pull this out. I'm gonna try all these on and put them in a clip so y'all can see them, but girl, this shoe is so cute. And this is the most comfortable shoe ever. I just, I wear these even when you don't see any of the detailing, you know what I mean? Like with bell bottom pants and all of that, wide leg pants, because they're just so comfortable. I love a good mule. And this lavender color is so beautiful. As you can see, I haven't worn them out yet, but I'll definitely be wearing these soon. They are so pretty. And I do size up in these. I get these in a size 38. So if you guys are wondering, I do recommend you half size up. Um, I usually do that in all of my mules that are closed toe. So love 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 these and if you've been thinking about getting a pair of jimmy choo bings i highly recommend okay one of my most worn shoes in my collection when it comes to like higher end shoes so yeah love okay y'all so my last pair of shoes are a pair of christian louboutins and yeah i know we can't be stopped okay i live for a louboutin okay it's just i'm not done with it i mean i should be but I just go for the more comfortable styles now. It's just some, Christian Louboutin makes some of the sexiest shoes on the foot. It's just the shape, okay? The shape, girl. If you know about shoes, you know how important the shape is. I had to get these. I'm screaming. I am screaming. I'm screaming. Look at these. Ah! These are called the Hot Chick Slingbacks, you guys. And these are in a gorgeous yellow color. This yellow is sick. Uh, I love these. So um, I originally wanted like the yellow so Kate, but I'm like, girl, be for real, for real. Like I'm not walking in a so Kate no time soon. I had a couple of pair. I still have my so Kates, but I don't wear them anymore. I'm more of a Pagal Foley girl, you know, the 100 millimeter. We are done with the 120 millimeter heels. That was just a moment in time. And we're going to, we're going to leave that in that time, <laughs> in that era. Okay, I'm in my comfy era now. So I got these, these are 100 millimeter. The heel looks extremely high because it's thin and it's the vamp, okay? It is the arch of the shoe. What Christian does to a woman's like silhouette of her foot is just top tier. So they do look very high, but they're not high at all. They don't feel um, uncomfortable at all. Very comfortable. I got these true to size 37 and a half because they are a sling back. And one thing about the hot chicks, they don't have any like uh, rubber. And I love that because I have a short heel. So anytime, that's why I have issues with sling backs a lot of the times because the um, strap falls off. But this is more of a stiff strap. As you can see, it doesn't even move. Um, and I like, like I said, it doesn't have any rubber. So it's not going to stretch out. I mean, it will stretch out over time um, because they are leather, whether patent leather, but it's not going to stretch out to where it's just like hanging off my foot. So a 37 and a half fits me really nice. And I just love these. Love this yellow color. Joan, not Joan, I always call it Lady Joan, Tracy Ellis Ross um, has a pair of the yellow so Kates and she wears them all the time. And every time she wears them, I'm just gushing over them. Also Yara Sahidi, she wears them and she looks so cute in hers. I just love this color. And yes, I would have liked it more as a full pump, um, but I couldn't find them in the Pagal Foley's. And I'm like, you know what? I do have my Manolo's in the yellow. So why not get something a little bit different? and these are perfect for spring and summer so I can't wait to pull these out this will look good with like a all denim look this will look good with your dresses uh during the summertime just a gorgeous pop of color and they're just so pretty I love these so much y'all so yeah I got me another pair of Christian Louboutins but these are comfortable don't fret um but you do have to be like you know, an avid heel wearer. If you're just now getting into heels, I would never recommend you even step foot in a Christian Louboutin because it is like when they first came out, 
you had to get acclimated to Christian Louboutin shoes, you know? So they are a different breed of shoe. But if you're used to wearing heels, like the 100 millimeters are definitely doable, okay? So love these. And they do come with dust bags. All the shoes come with dust bags and heel taps and all the things. So we love that. But yeah, got these. Um, where did I get these? I think I got these from Savannah's, I want to say. But I'm going to do a search for you guys and see if I can find them. Um, and I'll link them down below for y'all. Okay, y'all. So let's move on to bags. I'm a handbag girl too, okay? So I'm going to start with this bag. Now, I've worn this bag twice, I think. Um, but I don't know why I keep it in the bag. But this is my first Kate Spade bag. I've actually shown this in one of my videos. And it is the cutest bag ever, you guys. And I actually got this bag on sale in the store. Um, I was at the mall with my mom. and we saw this in the window and I had to grab it. So I think it was 25% off, maybe 30% off, but it is the Kate Spade cloud bag. How gorgeous is this? I love the fact that it's metallic, but it also has like this blue tint to it. So cute. And it has cute little fringe detailing, not too much. I think it looks so cute just holding it in your hand, but it also comes with a really nice um, long chain. So you can wear this crossbody as well, or maybe you can like double it up and, you know, carry it as like a little top handle bag. I haven't explored that. I've only worn this as a crossbody because I love super dressy handbags and I like wearing them casual. So I usually wear this pretty casual. The original price on this was $498. And I believe, like I said, I got it 30% off in store. So yeah, this is the Kate Spade cloud bag. And I'm happy that this is my first Kate Spade. I think this is worth having in your collection. Um, it's definitely, you know, like a mid price point, but it's a cute bag. And it's just one of those like fun pieces that you'll have forever and i don't know if you guys can see well yeah and as you can see it has little rhinestones on there too i love a bit of glam okay i am a glam girl i love a bit of glam so this is so cute to me it's just it's everything it's adorable and um it fits a decent amount okay i can put a small lip liner depending on how much i've used of my chestnut down um definitely a lipstick put a couple cards in there lip gloss you know key fob and i'm good to go so love this bag so much so happy that i got it this next bag that i'm going to show you guys is probably one of my favorites out of this entire haul because it is purple and i told y'all i've been living for purple lately and it is the mini Loewe puzzle bag. How cute is this bag? I wore this on Easter. I'm like, how perfect is this bag for spring? Y'all, this color is every single thing. I do have, I think it's the small Loewe puzzle in like a magenta pink, but this color is just it's edible. Okay. It is literally, it's edible at this point. It is just, I want to eat it. Like it's like a little candy bag. Um, so cute. And it does look tiny, but it honestly fits every single thing you need. I can actually put my wallet in here, keys, you know, multiple lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, all the things. I mean, the bag fits everything you need, a uh, fragrance, little travel fragrance. If you need that, it's just so freaking cute and i also love the fact that when it is stuff there's nothing in here right now except the dust bag it gives you that little dip like the original you know larger loewe bag so it's so cute another thing that i love about this bag is of course it's top handle and you guys know i live for a top handle bag but it also comes with this removable leather strap and a lot of the times when they come with these little leather straps i just feel like we can do away with it. This one is actually perfect. I like that it's not adjustable, but I also like the fact that it hits me perfectly at my hip. Um, so the adjustable straps when they're leather, they just look cheap sometimes. I like that this is like a no fuss type of strap, just smooth, you know, pebbled leather, just a gorgeous strap. And like I said, it hits me perfectly. I am 5'1", so I mean, you know, it may not hit you perfectly depending on your height, but I do love, love, love this bag. And it is just so perfect. It does have this little zipper detailing here with this long um little piece and that's how you get into it now it is kind of difficult to kind of see everything in there but it's just the perfect bag 
And obviously the beans match perfectly with this bag. I've worn this bag with the um, Versace purple shades, like just so freaking cute. I'll pop up a picture of my little Easter outfit that I wore and I'm just so happy to have this bag. I'm super excited about it. It's so cute. Also got this on sale. Listen, if I can get something on sale, I'm going to get it on sale. Okay. I think this bag retails for $2,300. Um, I ended up getting it for 16, I want to say. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can find a link for you guys, but gorgeous little lavender, lilac, whatever color you want to call it. Um, puzzle bag. So freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Now, even though I love this long little thin strap, I also have this gorgeous silver strap from Amazon, which is obviously chain. And I can attach it here and wear it crossbody. And it just gives it, you know, a little bit more of a dressier, kind of edgier vibe. So yeah, I will link this chain down below. This is a really nice, let me see. This is a really nice thick chain. I love it, y'all. I have it in gold and in this silver color, but the silver really does hit. So yeah, this will be cute to add on to this bag as well, just to dress it up a bit. Okay, y'all, so my next bag I'm really excited about as well because I've wanted this bag for years and I finally found it. And it is a Chanel bag and it is a, I wanna say it's a vintage Chanel bag. It came out in 2012, no, 2014, the 12P collection. So this is the box. This is unused as well, um, supposedly. I mean, I got it for a really good deal and I'm just loving it. Okay, it's the color for me. Okay, y'all, so here she is. Uh, look at the color and it's showing up perfectly on camera. This color is insane. So like I said, this bag did come out in 2014. It was the Chanel 12P collection, which is the uh, spring collection. And this is the extra mini rectangular bag. At that time, I don't know if they were calling them extra mini or if they were just calling them mini, but this is smaller than the regular rectangle mini. Okay. So it's really, really, really cute. You can wear it as a little crossbody bag. You know, you can always just, um, tie up the chain on the inside and wear it as a little top handle, but it was the color for me. And they recently came out with leather backpacks in this color, but it had been since 2014 that they released this color. So that's why I was like, of course, in 2014, I wasn't buying Chanel bags, but I love this bag so much. And when I came across it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it in pristine condition okay might i add so it came with the box it came with the dust bag it came with the authenticity card as well also this is what the inside looks like so it does have this divider that does the bag i mean it's no point whatsoever for this divider with a bag this small why do we need to divide anything okay but it does have this divider so it's essentially three compartments it has this compartment in the back this main compartment in the front and it has this little pocket compartment right here in the front as well and that's where the um card and stuff is but yes this is such a gorgeous bag i live for patent leather classic bags like in these bright colors and as you can see it does have silver hardware the chain is gorgeous it's just cute like this is the perfect pop of color for spring and summer. It looks good with orange. Girl, it looks good with purple. It looks good with blue. It looks good with everything. And I'm just so happy that I have it. And it does fit what I need. I won't say that it fits every single thing, but because it is a rectangle, you can put a few things in here. So love this bag so much, you guys. Like, ugh. are you screaming? I'm screaming. It's so cute. You just want to eat it up. One thing I will say, I love the fact that the seller kept this in amazing condition. Um, patent leather bags can get sticky over time and this one is not at all, like in any shape. And it's also um, just like the lambskin leather on the inside. But this is a beautiful bag. No scratches on the hardware. They said it was unworn. I don't know if it means really, really, really unworn. It did come with the tag and everything, but it wasn't attached, you know? So it's like maybe she wore it once or twice, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And I'm so happy to finally have this in my collection. Can't wait to pull it out. Okay, y'all. So last but not least, I have another bag here and it is a vintage Chanel as well, but I need your help. I kind of feel like I'm not going to keep it, but I definitely wanted to ask you guys. So I've been really into denim like we all have. And I saw this denim uh, vanity case and I was like, I love like how worn it looks. 
So this is it. Now, in person, you're not getting all of the warmness on it, but it's like has a lot of the white showing through on the denim. Super, super, super cute. I have the little thing still attached because you have to keep that attached if you're going to return it. But this is the vanity. I did not know it would be hard like this, you know, um, which is good because it does keep its structure, especially for a denim handbag or a denim vanity case. This is a vanity case. But I'm thinking, will I actually carry this as a purse? Because it seems quite large. Um, and I don't remember when this came out. I want to say early 90s. But it does still have the lock and everything. It has the Chanel embossed here. Just a really nice vanity case. Um, I wouldn't put makeup in here because it is fabric. But I would plan on carrying this as a handbag. Um, and if you wanted to add a strap, you could. Because it automatically has the... Um, the little what do you call these grommets on the top because it originally came with a denim strap but this one did not so this bag is really old it's in really nice condition i have seen others in better condition but i like like i said the like worn look of this denim because it's not too too much and this is what the inside looks like so beautiful beautiful condition um leather on the inside but let me know should I keep this and wear this as a handbag? Because that's how I would use this in my collection. Um, I have seen the smaller vanities as well. And I'm thinking about returning this and getting a smaller one, like the black one that I used to have. I sold that one because I just wasn't wearing it. Um, I have other black Chanel's that I love, but I might get this in the smaller size denim. But what I've noticed about the smaller size is that they are not as worn in in color. Like it's just too uniform of denim for me. And I don't, I didn't love that. So let me know what you guys think. Would you keep this as um, a handbag or would you only use this as a vanity case for like makeup or toiletries and things like that? Okay y'all, so that is the end of my luxury spring accessories haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. Also make sure to check out the description box. I will uh, try to link everything that I can find down there for you guys and we'll also try to see if I can find some deals too. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the luxury content and I will talk to you on my my next video. Bye y'all.